Hey everybody, what's good? It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. So if you're a first timer at this channel, you gotta hit that subscribe button. Dropping a real quick video here. I'm just chilling in my car. I gotta do some weapons firing for work. So uh, I'm here a little early, so I thought I'd drop this video on you. But uh, tonight is Rebellion Night 2. Curious to think what, you know, some of your pr predictions for the night. Um, you know, I really felt that the first night probably exceeded expectations in some ways, but in some ways uh, probably didn't. And the reason I say that is because Impact took what they were given and put on a pretty good show, but there was no, and maybe it's difficult, it, it, it's crowd aside, there were some other aspects of it that didn't feel like a big show, didn't feel like a serious show. You know, um, I, I talk about the commentary quite a bit, but I always praise, hey, when the pay-per-views come around, though, the commentary really steps up. And uh, in this case, I thought it took several steps down. But so there, there were some good and there was some bad. Tonight, we're getting Rohit Raju versus Suicide versus Trey versus Chris Bay. What do you guys think is going to happen in that match? Who needs this win the most? I think this is going to be Rohit Raju's big. Um, uh, he's going to win this and take a big step forward. That's what I, I personally think. I think he needs the win. Um I'm not really into those like tag team breaking up storylines, which are starting to tease a little bit, but I think he needs a win and I think it could start propelling him, um, you know, further up the card. If he, if he gets this win, we're getting cousin Jake versus Joseph P Ryan. Uh, Joey Ryan needs to win this match. He lost to the smaller Diener. So, um, one would think he would lose the, to the big guy too, but if he does lose, you can stick a fork in cancel culture because that's, um, you know, I'm really into what they're doing, but it's not so far not working. I don't know if it's because of the social distancing and everything going on that maybe RVD is not willing to travel, but uh, it just seems like it's the Joey Ryan show right now so far, and he hasn't gotten a big win uh, since it's happened. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Joey Ryan wins this match somehow. <laughs> And uh, what's the other one? We're getting Rosemary versus Jessica Havoc. It's going to be Full Metal Mayhem, which is one of my favorite matches in the world. Uh, they just kind of let us know those two are wrestling Full Metal Mayhem. No, you know, no apologies that it was going to be the Knockouts Championship match. Um, with everything going on in the world right now, I think it's okay on a wrestling show to acknowledge that. And it seemed like maybe I missed something. Maybe they did at some point. But I feel like uh, on Rebellion Night 1, they they dodged it. Um, it's okay to be okay with everything going on in the world. Uh, you know, the Knockouts Championship match has been canceled. We're giving this to you instead. And even with the world title, how they're, oh, Tessa's stuck in Mexico. Like, just just be honest, you know. Um, Eddie Edwards was in his video. You know, he, that was that's why I thought that came off good. Because he was just like, hey, for my family, you know, we're staying here. Da, 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 da. Like we got a, a touch of personal, his personal life and personal feelings. So that was good. But I think for this knockouts championship match, they just kind of could have kind of been honest with us. You know what I mean? Uh, Rosemary has to win this match. She always loses to Jessica Havoc every time. I don't know what they're doing with Rosemary. So uh, this would be really good for her to get this victory. And regarding the world title, I can't imagine they're going to strip Tessa Blanchard. I actually think Michael Elgin... <laughs> it's counterintuitive in a sense. I would, th I think, I feel like he's going to put on an open challenge, but w that's kind of silly because people aren't really supposed to be at the arena. You know what I mean? Um, I think when they tape these matches, as a matter of fact, for the, the show, that the only people there are the wrestlers wrestling the match. I think they uh, came out and said something like that, and then they take an hour or so to clean and sanitize the ring, and then it was. I think Sammy Callahan said something like that because that's why he did uh, show up to wrestle. So I got to get inside, you know, any thoughts you guys have on rebellion, drop them in the comments. And um, again, this is the lounge. Um, in the pin comment of this video, we're going to see our night one review right now. We're going to be streaming our reviews, but they're going to be audio. Um, just having video technical difficulties. I get it working when it, I don't need it. And then when I need it, I can't get it working. So there's some things I got to figure out, but we're going to stream again either tonight or tomorrow night, but it's going to be audio. Video is coming. I promise myself and TW and I'm out. Peace.